Axel, what's that thing you're holding? Looks like a semi-automatic trumpet. Well, this is a uh, replica, sweetie, of what they call a blunderbuss, a pilgrim's gun. This is what they used uh, that first winter to hunt with, which is the reason why a lot of them probably starved to death. Have a good weekend, everybody. Bye-bye. Don't forget to have a little swim right after you eat, okay? <laughs> Kenny, what's the matter with you, man? Well, my parents are out of town visiting my grandmother in the hospital. Yeah? So I'm stuck spending Thanksgiving with my Uncle Ray. Hmm. He's not much of a cook. Really? Look at this lunch you made for me. Leftover Halloween candy, a cheese sandwich, and a Ziploc bag full of water. <laughs> well, the cheese sandwich looks pretty good. Mr. G, the cheese is still individually wrapped. Yeah. Which wouldn't be so bad if you hadn't grilled it. <laughs> well, Mr. D, you're probably having a turkey. Yep. A butter ball. Uh-huh. A big one. You got it. Plenty for everyone. Well, you know. <laughs> Even for someone who doesn't have the place to eat on Thanksgiving. Yeah, Kenny, you're not coming over tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'm not having anybody over. Just uh, maybe me, my daughters. Yeah, yeah. Six-pack, TV, lots of football. Maybe you could take a picture of the carcass so I can see what I missed. Hey, Otis. Hey, George, how you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, Kenny. Hey, what's eating you, short stack? Mr. Foster, I don't have any place to eat tomorrow. Hey, don't sweat it. You can come and eat with me. I can't. Where we eating? Mr. Drexel's house. <laughs> George, come here. Come on. What? Come you on. said that I could bring someone. No. I met someone, you know, someone round and soft, you know, someone I could hit on when you're in a, in a bathroom. <laughs> oh, come on, Otis, let the kid come. Kenny, you want to come to my house tomorrow? Yes! All right, all right, but you got to make yourself useful, okay? Yeah, no problem, Mr. D. All right. Yes, sir, I cannot wait for all that football. Hey, Otis. That old TV of yours have a remote? It does now, man. Come on, Kenny. Line. What are you talking about, honey? This beer goes right through me. <laughs> yeah, except for that 12-pack that got held up on both sides of your navel. <laughs> what kind of talk is that, honey? <laughs> We're going to be in the kitchen fixing the feast, and if you need anything at all, just give us a little holler. Okay, baby. It's your day, Daddy. Thanks, honey. Brenda? Melissa? Girls? Get it yourself, Daddy. Oh, yeah. I must be dreaming. <laughs> hey, Mr. Drexel, it's Slash. Down, Slash, down. Should you be at home uh, biting a head off a turkey? <laughs> no, nah, man, my parents split up to Minnesota for the Dead concert. Melissa said I could chat out with you guys. Oh, well, didn't she tell you? Tell me what? If she's out of town, man. No. Yeah. Oh, she got back in town, oh. Mr. Drexel. This <laughs> really is my lucky day, huh? Yeah, right, right. Slash, I'm glad you're here. You can come help me peel the potatoes. Ah, oh, tubers, go, buddy. Yeah, honey, listen, now wash his hands in Clorox and put a net over that hair, will you? Or vice versa. Yeah, that'd be pretty bitchin', Mr. Yeah, Drexel. Wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, here we go, here we go. Come on now, fire him up, Hayden. Here we go. 
Yeah, come on in, guys. Hey. It's about to start. Come on. Look here, I brought over my specialty. Raging Cajun gumbo. You are gonna love this. I put my foot in. Hey, no offense, pal, but I think I'll pass, all right? No, no, no. Put my foot in it is an expression, notice. It means that I worked hard on it. Now, come on. Yeah. Mmm! Yeah. Mmm! Too hot? Mmm! Mm-mm. No. My ears always bleed on Thursdays. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Steele brought dessert. Lifesaver. Lifesaver? Yeah, you like those summer rum flavors. Hey, watch that. Hey, something smells good in here. Smells good, doesn't it? I wish I can smell it. The hazards of teaching gym, sweat sock fumes, a close up every orifice in my body. Yo, Mr. D, give me another soda while you're up, all right? Yeah, right. <clears throat> Happy Thanksgiving, Otis. I baked you my special uh, holiday pumpkin pie. Well, thanks a lot, yeah. Roscoe. <laughs> Just, just take your damn pie back, okay? Wait, wait a minute. George invited me! George who? He's a lonely guy. Well, there's a reason for that, man. <laughs> he didn't have any place to go. I felt oh, sorry for him. Mapped all of his things. Give him. No, man, no. George, if he's not letting me in, I want my ten dollars back. Oh, let's see, I think half of ten is five, I was going right? to cut you in. Yeah, sure you were. Okay, Roscoe, come on, make yourself at home. Come on in, yeah. yeah. Just don't sit anywhere and don't say anything. Great. <laughs> Mr. Drexel, my, what an enticing aroma you have wafting from your kitchen. Hey, Timothy, go away, okay? Well, I just want to see Melissa, sir. Now, she's with Slash. Just go away, all right? I'll kill him. You mean that? Yes, sir. They're in the kitchen. I like that kid. <laughs> so what's going on here? Nothing. Still pregame. Mm-hmm. They're interviewing the team's bail bondsman. <laughs> hey, you guys mind? There is a great Mozart documentary on PBS. It covers his preteen years. I found it positive. <laughs> Hell, do you think you're doing? Uh, Give me another ten dollars or get out of here. I'll sit quietly. Sit quietly. Good Lord. I hope somebody invited a 300-pound turkey. <laughs> oh, my God! What is it? 300-pound turkey. Where about Kodiak? Exactly. Uh, I forgot to tell you. We invited her. You what? Wait a minute, girls. Come in the kitchen. I want to talk to you. Somebody like Grandma in. Oh, okay. I'll do it. No, you don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Daddy! God, what are you doing to me here? All year long, I have to suck up to people. I have to suck up to the IRS. I have to suck up to the principal. I even have to suck up to the kids I teach, or they'll report me to the IRS or the principal. Oh, Daddy, we I understand. understand. Thanksgiving's your day off. Yes. And now we've ruined it. Well, no, you haven't ruined it. Just... Just get rid of her, okay? Daddy, I know she's rich, and I know she's got Melissa and me in her will for a lot of money. Now, it's not just money, sweetheart. It's money for your college. If I if I screw up in there, she'll cancel you right out of the will. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can't be yourself around her. I, if I were myself, I'd be reading that will before the sun goes down. <laughs> you just don't understand, kids. I hate that woman. And she hates me. I wish one of them would just die and just get it over with. Daddy, you don't mean that. I mean half of it. Daddy, why don't you just go in there and try to be nice to her? Please, I can't be nice to her. It's not, it's not in my character. Well, then don't be nice. Look, be yourself. That's what you always tell us to do. Yeah, do it for your own good. Forget about the will. Forget about how rich she is. Oh, yeah, well, maybe, maybe you're right. I don't know, for sure. I'm not going to let her intimidate me again. And there's no way in the world I'm going to ever let her call me fool again. Great, Daddy. We don't care about the money. Grandma, Grandma. Melissa. Shanti. And where is the fool? Grandma Kodiak. It's fool. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> Damn dog. 
You ever have a, a mother-in-law, George? Are you kidding? Moved in with us right after the honeymoon. Every time the bed springs would creak, she'd bang on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, I let her bang. Hell, it was only twice in three years. <laughs> oh, man, this is a, a monster I got on my hands here. You know that? You know, she doesn't even need that wheelchair. Rolling around here, she looks like a Rose Bowl float. <laughs> she only does it to get attention or to get good parking. I don't see it, Otis. I think you're wrong about her. No, you don't understand, man. See, she's got a little routine. See, what happens is she starts charming you, see. Slash, under that veil of innocence, I see a very deep thinker. <laughs> yeah, I could dig that. <laughs> What do you mean? And she finds your weak spot, okay? Where you're most vulnerable. You're right. With your intelligence, maturity, and charisma, you should be superintendent of schools. Well, thank you, Mrs. Kodiak. That's very gracious of you. Mm, I'm just speaking truthfully. Well, I love the truth. <laughs> Once she's got you in her web, she bites you with her checkbook. Wait a minute. You're telling me you're going to give me a brand new 21-speed mountain bike just because you like me? Yes, my child. Is there anything wrong with that? No, 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 no. But just in case you're on heavy medication like my grandma, <laughs> let's shake on it before it wears off. But I can take it for a while. You know why? Because when she's gone, and I don't mean gone from the house, I mean dead and gone. I mean good and dead and gone. I mean toes up, laid out, tagged, boxed. <laughs> Ooh, I get chills just thinking about that one. Then, see, I'll have enough money to send my girls to college. Man, I just think she's a sweet old lady who wants to spend Thanksgiving with her family. George, you don't understand, believe me. Her family is somewhere in a cave, hanging upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all meant to see this woman is happy that my brother said. She's <laughs> hey, wait, wait, what happened to the football game? television is unplugged because we took a vote. We're going to put on some nice holiday music and talk and enjoy each other's company. <laughs> wait a minute, is that what everybody wants? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I, I thought we were going to watch the football game, huh? Timothy? She promised me an Armani blazer, sir. <laughs> I'm getting a Marshall stack. A what? It's an apple fire, dude. Oh, Kenny. Mountain bike. Oh, Roscoe? Didn't have to promise me anything. I hate football. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hope everybody likes your turkey cooked perfectly, because that's the way you're going to get it, guys. Okay, look at that. Is that beautiful? Timothy, come sit next to me. Wait, wait, wait. I thought I said I was going to sit next to Melissa. You are sitting next to Melissa, doofus. Oh. Uh, well, then it worked out. <laughs> Otis... Yes. Do you think we could have some water in our water glasses? Oh, yes. Or should we all die of thirst? I'll get the water, Grandma. No, let him do it. He needs to work off his couch potato flab. Right, Otis? Yes, indeed, Grandma. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, you might have to dig for that uh, stuffing, because when I inserted it, I was thinking of someone special, and I shoved it right up in there. <laughs> like this. You've never seen me totally humiliated, have you? No, I have, but I hate seeing it. Well, I'll have to be nice to her for a few more hours. Then I won't have to worry about paying for you girls' college. <laughs> Here we go, Grandma. Right. And ice cold, too. I think you like it. Otis? Yeah? Aren't you going to pour it? Oh, stupid me. Of course I am. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, why, Otis, I'd say you have a promising career as a busboy. Would you? Yeah. Oh! Shimpy, mind your manners. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It'd be my guess. I'm stuffed. <laughs> oh, what kind of idiot put out a turkey with no cranberry sauce? Somebody say you idiot? <laughs> you must be talking about me. <laughs> it's okay. I don't want any cranberry sauce. Do you guys? I don't no, need I don't any now. I'd like some. Uh, I'd too. love some, in fact. Yeah, I'll bet. Me too. And so does Shempy. You know when you get a craving for something and you can't think of anything else? Oh, Lord, yes. I know that one. 
They probably have some at that out and in mart down the street. You think so? <laughs> yeah, well, since I finished my dinner, I'll get it. Oh, no, you can't go. You haven't had any dessert. Let Otis go. I haven't had any of anything yet. Good. Then I won't disturb your meal. Now hurry, before my gravy forms the skin. I'll warm your plate for you, Daddy. Oh, let it get cold. That way he'll remember cranberry sauce. <laughs> now, okay. Let's bring out the sweet potato pie. I hid a $50 bill in one of the slices. I'll oh. get it. <laughs> Can a cranberry sauce to go, please? You got the game on, huh? Hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, what, what's the score? Dead even. One minute to halftime. Tied up, huh? Yeah. All right, come on, Hawkeye! Go, 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 yeah, this is my team. my team, man. Get it! Yes! Yeah, Okay! Way to go in there! Yes! Come on! Oh, wait a minute, look at that cheerleader on the wall. Are you kidding me? Huh? Whoa! Out and in, Mark. Does he have a yeah. permanent scowl and a Saddam Hussein mustache? Yes! Yeah, he's here. He's watching the game with the other guys. Yeah. Yo, what? Deal! Mister! Your yeah. mother-in-law said to get your cranberry totem bony butt home in cinco minutos or it's a bye-bye inheritance. Well, I'm still cut beans. I'm not budging. Oh, fine. Yeah. Then no game. <laughs> what did she say she would give you? Two hundred bucks. Here, this is on the house. Okay. Okay, I'm going to it. I'll be back, slush jockey. And last but not least, Here's a picture of another wonderful man your mother passed up to marry your father. <laughs> hey, everybody, here's the last set of food. Any takers? Ooh, I wouldn't mind. Don't you dare touch that. <laughs> Here you go, Shippy. Oh. You should have barked, Roscoe. <laughs> Every day is a holiday. Oh, back to me, buddy. Well, you know what? I thought I couldn't get my car engine turned off. You know what it was? My stomach was growling. <laughs> Hey, where's my dinner? Oh, and the other? It's in Shimpy. In Shimpy? This isn't any son. We don't serve food 24 hours a day. You got a problem with that? No, 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 no. Uh, Shimpy, uh, how'd you like a little cranberry sauce? Oh. oh. Don't bother him. He just ate. Fool. Listen, I will not let you treat my daddy like this. Honey. You think that you could just buy people because you have money. Nope. He is a good man, and I don't wish that he were someone else. <laughs> And I wish is that I never even invited you over here. Oh, no, 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 honey, just stay green, okay? Now, she's a little upset, okay? Why, why don't you come into the kitchen and wash the dishes with Dad, okay? Come on, let's go in. While you're in there, Otis, get Shempy's breath mints. They're in my purse. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, you really shouldn't do this to yourself. Oh, honey, honey, you'll understand better when you're a freshman in college tooling around in a fancy foreign car and turning in the best term papers money can buy, okay? But, Daddy... There are those mints. Oh, oh look here. Whoa. It's a savings account. Grandma's savings account. Look in there. Look in there. Look at the bottom line. Then you'll understand why we're going through all this, okay? Read that. It's a zero. Yeah, how many zeros, though? Just one. One? Let me see that. Well, you're right. I mean, she said she didn't have any small bills. She doesn't have any big bills either. Honey, Grandma is broke. Where is Shempy's breath mints? Down the uh, disposal. And now you have exactly 30 seconds to clear your wide load out of my house. <laughs> I've never been so insulted before. Well, you've never been to my house on Thanksgiving Day. Don't you understand, Grandma? Nobody likes you. You should have got the message at the wedding when your husband gave your daughter away and begged me to take him along. <laughs> so your true nature surfaces. You are full of spite and hate. You're all awful. I wish I'd never stepped foot in this house of degradation. Oh. Daddy, your Iowa captain. Oh, oh, no, no. This only has every signature of every Iowa captain since Nile Kanick. Oh, no. Oh, Shempy, <laughs> there, there. Oh, no, here, here. Uh-huh, here we go. From now on, a new rule in this house. Okay, no more dogs allowed. You can't put Shempy outside. His feet 
have never touched grass. Ow! He bit me again. He is a rare Maza Apso. Yeah. Well, now he's an Airedale. That's it. You just lost everything. And everybody here did. You all get squat. Yeah? Squat is what we're always going to get, because according to what's in there, you got nothing. You're broke. You're right. I don't have any money in the bank. Yeah. It's all right here. I withdrew it yesterday. Half to give to you. Half to travel around the world. Ta-ta, everybody. Oh, oh my Lord. <laughs> whoa, whoa, <done. laughs> And oh. now that I'm leaving, I guess you can watch your dumb football game. Well, that's it. George, this wide load flight is cleared for takeoff. Oh, no, no. Don't you let him do this. Have your, have your grandmother, don't you let him do this. All clear. Oh, no, no. All clear, oh, Roger. No. Let her fly. Watch your cane, Granny, and don't forget your dessert. <laughs> Hi, Tom again. Well, I've personally selected the following commercials for their uplifting commentary on our status as a culture. Watch carefully. 90210 is next. It's Tom Knight on Fox. Get down. Get happy. At least get back from the bathroom fast. Mm -hmm.